solution. Hello children, I am the parrot and I welcome you to this lesson. Let's see what we will learn in this video. We will learn to identify the position of different objects and to find the position of objects using terms such as inside, outside and under, on. It's holiday for Chotu today. Therefore, Chotu is playing outside his house. It's rainy season and looks like it can rain anytime. Chotu's mother is cooking inside the house. Chotu's father is also helping his mother. It started raining when Chotu was playing outside the house. Chotu, don't get wet in the rain. You will get sick. Come inside the house quickly. Chotu went inside the house. He stood near the window and started looking outside. He saw that he had left his ball outside the house and it got wet in the rain. Chotu went outside quickly and brought back the ball inside. Then he heard the voice of his mother. Chotu, come to the kitchen. I have made pakoras for you. Oh wow, pakoras. Chotu quickly went to the kitchen and he ate a lot of pakoras. Children, can you see whether Chotu is inside the house or outside the house? Yes, here Chotu is inside the house and here he is outside the house. And children, here Chotu's ball is outside the house and here it is inside the house. Now let's see where is Chotu. Chotu is inside the kitchen and here he is outside the kitchen. So children, now you know about the position like inside and outside. After some time, the rain stopped and Chotu wants to go outside to play with his friends. Mummy, I can't find my bat. Do you know where is it kept? Chotu, look under the table. Chotu looked under the table but he did not find his bat. Mummy, it's not under the table. So, it might be under the bed. Okay, Mummy, I will check. Chotu looked under the bed and found his bat. Mummy, I found my bat. It was under the bed only. Chotu, I have kept a raincoat for you on the bed. Just take that too. Okay, Mummy, I will take it. Mummy, can you give me a new ball? Why, Chotu? Where is your old ball? Mummy, that ball got wet in the rain. Okay, Chotu, the new ball is kept on the top of the Almira. Let me just get it right now for you. Chotu's mother took the ball which was kept on top of the Almira and gave it to Chotu. And then Chotu pulled out his shoes which were kept under the Almira and went out to play. Children, did you see where Chotu's bat was kept? Chotu's bat was kept under the bed and his raincoat was kept on the bed. Chotu's mother took the ball which was kept on the top of the Almira and Chotu's shoes were under the Almira. So children, we have seen that objects are usually kept at certain places and words such as under, on, inside, outside are used to exactly tell us their position. That's all for today children. In this video, we learned how to identify the position of different objects and know the position of objects using terms such as inside, outside, under, on.
In the next video, we will see some interesting examples related to the position of different objects. Till then, bye children. Part 1 So children in the previous video we learned how to identify the position of different objects and know the position of objects using terms such as inside outside under on In this video we will see some interesting examples related to the position of different objects Today Chotu went to see a movie with his family and he loved the movie. On reaching home he was so tired that he immediately went to bed. And when he was sleeping he saw few of the characters of the movie in his dream. Come let us see what his dream was. He saw that Tinku had gone to find food with his friend Chiku. Tinku saw a cave and he said Chiku, "Chiku, let's go inside that cave. Maybe we can find something to eat there." "Yes, let's go, Tinku." Both of them went inside the cave. As soon as both of them went inside the cave, they heard a fearful voice, and they got scared and ran out of the cave. After coming outside, Tinku and Chiku saw some mangoes on a tree. Chiku, see, there are some mangoes on that tree. Hey, Tinku, some mangoes are lying under the tree too. Let's pick those mangoes. As soon as both of them came near the tree, they saw some monkeys sitting on the tree watching them. And as they tried to get all those mangoes, some of the monkeys suddenly climbed down the tree. And both of them ran away from there in fear. That's when Chotu woke up from his dream. Children Do you know where were Chiku and Tinku standing? Outside the cave or inside the cave? Yes, now they both are inside the cave. And here they are outside the cave. And children, where are the mangoes? On the tree or under the tree? These mangoes are under the tree. And where are the monkeys? on the tree or under the tree these monkeys are on the tree and these are under the tree so children we saw that few things were on the tree and few were under the tree few were inside few were outside these are called position of objects that was all for today In this video we saw some interesting examples related to the position of objects such as on under inside outside In the next video we will see some more interesting examples related to the position of objects Till then bye children Interesting examples of identifying position. Part two. Children, in the previous video we saw some interesting examples related to the position of objects using terms such as on, under, inside, outside. In this video we will see some more examples related to the position of objects. Today Chotu and Pinky are helping their mother in cleaning the house. Chotu, look here. Your math notebook is kept on the table. 
keep it under the table. Chotu picked up his math notebook from the table and kept it under the table. Mummy, Chotu's pencil box is also kept outside his bag. Chotu, keep this pencil box inside your bag. And Chotu kept his pencil box inside his bag. After keeping the pencil box inside the bag, he left his bag on the bed. Chotu, please pick your bag from the bed and keep it in the almira. Okay, mummy. Chotu picked up his bag from the bed and kept it inside the almira. After cleaning that room, they went to the next room to clean it. And they found toys of Chotu and Pinky lying scattered all over the floor. So their mother fetched their toy box from the top of the almira and said, Children, now you both collect all your toys and keep them inside this box. Chotu and Pinky kept all their toys in the box and cleaned the entire room. And then both of them went out to play. So children, did you see how Pinky and Chotu changed the position of different objects while cleaning the rooms? Like picking up the notebook from the table and placing it under the table. And the toy box was on the top of the almira. Chotu's mother took the box from there and kept it down. Even Chotu and Pinky picked all the toys which were lying outside the box and kept them inside the box. So children, that was all for today. In this video, we saw some more interesting examples related to the position of objects like on, under, inside, outside. And I hope you all must have understood this properly. Bye children.